Hi everyone, so I'm back to share another journal with you and this is another um, fabric covered eclectic style journal. Um, obviously very different to the one that I done yesterday because I'm trying to use up my scraps. Uh, the journal measures seven by five and it has one signature, uh, so another little chunky one, 80 pages front and back. Um, that's the lovely fabric that I used. And that has just been stitched onto two layers of cardstock, one of them being coffee dyed, which is on the inside. We have fabric tabs, crocheted trim, bead dangles, there's three on there in total. Um, I've just made this topper for the cover. The lady here is from Artie Mays. There's Artie Mays, Tsunami Rose, uh, can't remember who, who's at this because it's just like I said, it's, I'm trying to use up what I've already got printed off. Um, there's three layers here, so each of them have been sewn onto um, coffee dyed paper, and this will be listed in my shop if you're interested. So let's have a peek. Eyelets and organza ribbon as a closure, and as you can see, it's a nice little chunky one. <clears throat> I love the look um, at the sides. I've just moved everything there. I love this the look. Um, of a journal when it's just like that I think it's to me it's definitely eye candy so inside like I said it's just plain coffee dyed and I haven't done anything on the front cover at uh, the front of the signature because there's just so much going on in here and the bulk was just getting too much for the actual um, the actual journal um, and obviously I want it to be um, writable <laughs> to, be, to be able to write in it so this is from Artie Mays and these are some of the background pages from some of her kits and I can't remember what kit it is now um, here we just have a Tim Holtz ticket some Tim Holtz people a little ticket there oh I've, I've used some Shabby Dabby Doodah as well some of her digitals can't remember what they're called now oh I'm useless. <laughs> uh, so they've just been printed on cardstock and coffee dyed. There's some stenciling in the background. This is um, Tsunami Rose, so you can do some writing on there and on the back. And then we just have a uh, stamped, stenciled, coffee dyed tag with some organza ribbon at the top. Got a little like coffee dyed um, tag here. This is from Tsunami Rose. We've got a tag, a tab, sorry, there. This is Tsunami Rose as well. It's one of them tickets. I did use one, um, some of them yes, in yesterday's journal. And this is the old design shop. Some more of them lovely stickers. And they're like clear stickers. Obviously not clear because you can see the flower. But when you stick them down, you don't see like the bit all around it. Someone had asked me if it was a, uh, um, these were stamps. Oh, they'd be lovely as stamps. They've got some really nice ones. Some Martha Stewart punching there. Some stenciling here. I just have to take this off because um, this is um, a window envelope, which I've just put that on there. And that piece is there as a tuck. That's why the paper clip was on, just to hold this card in. Inside there, um, I've done the splodging on there. Not a lot. And some stamping Tim Holtz um, ticket uh, here tag that I made and the images uh, on some of these tags have been beeswaxed this is Artie Mays um, these are Artie Mays as well or they're from the tag fabrication kit which is from Artie Mays and Tracy Fox and that goes in there and then here we've, I've just done a little fold up on the back of that envelope uh, for a little tag inside there and you could you could actually write over the top of that so that piece is the, uh, the flap that I made this is from uh, Tracy Fox and Artie Mays and it's the construction cards so that's actually open so you can put something inside there and it's been coffee dyed on the back and I've just got two layers there with a piece of bling inside there we have I think that's from one of the um, construction cards or the tag fabrication kit so that's just popped in there these two die cuts are from Tsunami Rose and that's when she does the um, like the lucky dip thing with all the die cuts and the paper clips just holding that in place I'll do that up there okay so this is one of the um, 
Artie Mays had done these, but she had done like two and joined them together and you could put them like in a in in a signature or um, but I've just I've been using them as a single piece and it's just the folding of the envelope and trimming it off and decorating it so you've got a pocket there a pocket behind there that's just an index card with the tab which has been coffee dyed and inked out then you have got another large larger index card and that goes in there but it's also opened at the back as well so you've really got four tuck spots there and this page is from one of the pages from the vintage days uh this was just a little piece of um like crocheted lacy fabric and i just folded it over and glued it down just to make a little tuck got some stenciling there this is from Artie may's her portrait collection and this is an army rose i think and another tag that I've made, stamped, stenciled, and it's coffee dyed. Um, this is the old design shop. No, it's not. It's um, it might be actually or tsunami rose. This was a freebie from Artie Mays, and oops, in there I've just used one of the journal cards from the portrait, and then we've just got a tag in there, and one of these little um, playing cards, and this is obviously it's grapes, and this is a. Uh, Carbonate Sauvignon. This is Artie Mays and it's her eco dyed digital kit. And we've just got a little fabric tab tab there. Another one of these stickers. We've got oh, that just I'll have to glue that again. That's kind of came away. Um, some crochet to trim, a bead dangle on there, some lined paper, some stenciling. Here I just, um, this is Tsunami Rose and I've left that as a tuck because the one that i done yesterday was a, a bigger piece but I'd glued it completely down. But I've, like I said, I've used that as a tuck. This is from Artie Mays, the portrait collection and these are just some journaling kind of postcard things that I have. Uh, here we have a glassine bag with a portrait card inside there. It's opened at the back and it's opened there. And another tag with the glassine piece on there and then some knick-knacky bits from the tag fabrication kits. Some lace trim there. And that just goes in there. It, does, it doesn't want to go in there. Always when you're on video, isn't it? I don't know why it's doing that. There we go. I know what it is. It's, there's a bit of a lip from the, um, the, the bag, which is that way. Um, so I'm just going to pop that in the back there. So here we've just got um, just a simple pocket, some uh, cardstock that's been um, edge punched, put some blue lace on there. You could actually tuck something in there. This is Artie Mays as well. And this is the tag fabrication, uh, Tsunami Rose. And that's that, another little tag. This is uh, Tsunami Rose, and that is Tsunami Rose with a little sticker. Here I've just used one of the um, portrait cards as a tuck, and we've got two tags inside there. Some stenciling, some Martha Stewart punch, <clears throat> centre of the signature. So there's lots of journal space. Another sticker. Uh, that's the other side of well the other side of the other piece <laughs> tag just a belly band with a uh, Tim Holtz ticket on there that's shabby dabby doo that's tag fabrication tag fab uh, fabric tab here is this is actually from the oh, what kit is that from again uh, Nature's Remedies had that floating around so what I did was I backed it onto some Edith Holden and then I just done it as a just glued to the top and there that's actually opened at the top if you wanted to tuck something in but like I said journal was getting fat and junky so I had to stop <laughs> so here we have another um, oh there's a paper clip on there that's why it wouldn't open another flip envelope flip and the envelope has been lined with some music paper. I've done the splodging, some blue on there as well, some stamping, 
journal card there that's i think that's a freebie from artimes and then here we've just got this is from the vintage days collection so i've just used that as a tuck and added a tab and then this is just a little fold out with one of um, artimes's female beauties and then that again is just holding this in place i'll sort that in a minute so that's just another tag fab no construction card it's open so you can tuck something inside there we've got uh, some layering here the butterfly these two pieces have been added on these are great i love these journal cards and like i said that is just holding that in place here we've got another glassine bag and what i did with the uh, paper doily was beeswaxed it um it is actually open there if you wanted to tuck something inside there we've got another tim holtz ticket tim holtz people and then just another little ticket open at the back open there and the tag here again she's uh the image has been beeswaxed there's lots of little threads everywhere and then these are just bits from uh that's a freebie from marty mays and the butterfly and that is from the i think it's the tag fabrication kits so we'll pop that in there we've got another bead dangle some lovely trim this again is from the portrait collection from artimes i've just used that as a pocket got a little tag fabrication tag this is from shabby dabby Duda. i am still learning all the names of the kits from um tina shop just a note and that's got some that's been stamped stenciled and it's coffee dyed so that's that that's the other side of the eco dyed paper this is oh and i forgot to mention that at the front this is um if you've seen the video the other day where i showed you all the um the doily print papers that um he he now had sent me um i did i have scanned some of them <clears throat> i explained that in another, another video i scanned some so i used that little piece it's come out darker than it actually is in real life but it's still lovely because the prints are still very clear and here we have another journal card from shabby dabby Duda, another little tag um, again she's been beeswaxed another sticker here i just done um that's uh, Martha Stewart Punch. I can't remember what it's called. I know I always say that and everybody always tells me and I still forget what it's called. Um, something vine. Floral vine, I think it's called. Um, so I just stenciled that. It's coffee dyed and stenciled. We have another piece here from Tsunami Rose. Um, an envelope. That is from Artie Mays. I think this could possibly be a freebie, but I'm not 100% on that. And inside there we've just got some paper. So, there we go and that just goes in there another tab just a label there freebie from artimes um this pocket here just some uh, designer cardstock a beeswaxed doily with like a minty green color little piece of um uh, lace trim butterfly bling tickets and inside there we have another one of these journal cards postcard things uh designed by miss time that's nice and thick uh here we just have another postcard another tag and another one of these playing cards with the the grapes on there another bead dangle which is on some crocheted trim some more stenciling Another portrait card that I've used as a tuck, a postcard there, and a tag. Oops, another one of those um, stickers. Still got hundreds of them left, they're so pretty. Um, little ticket that I've just um, glued on there. Tab, and then here, this is a um, little tag there. This pocket is actually from... Um, one of the kits are from Netta's Creations. It might be Letters to Rose or something like that. I can't remember, to be honest. It was just one of the random ones that's just lying around, so I used it. And I backed that on cardstock and I just popped that in there. 
and then we have the back so that is this little chunky one um yeah, I'm enjoying doing these ones that have got like no theme to them. Um, just add in whatever I like. The fabrics are still coming away there, but they are glued down and sewn. Right, so if you have any questions about the journal, then please ask. Um, and like I said, this will be listed for sale if you're interested. And um, I hope you're all having a great day and I'll speak to you all soon. Bye.